Hello everybody, my name is Ayat, and today I'm reading a bedtime story called The Three Little Pigs. So, this is my favourite story ever. So, let's get reading. This is the story of three little pigs. This is the story of three little pigs and one big bad wolf. <clears throat> the three little pigs lived in a house at the bottom of a hill. They lived with their mother. Mother. The big bad wolf lived in a house on the top of the hill. He lived alone. <clears throat> one day, one of the pigs said, Boys, it's time for you to go your own way and to live in your own houses. Yes, it is time, said the first little pig, to go our own way, said the second little pig, and to live in our own house, said the third little pig. So the three little pigs packed their bags. They left the house at the bottom of the hill. Goodbye now, their mother said. And don't forget, watch out for the big bad wolf. He eats little pigs. We won't forget, said the three little pigs. B is for big, said the first little pig. B is for bad, said the second little pig. And wolf is for wolf, said the third little pig. They waved goodbye and went their merry way. Soon they came to a place th three, where three roads met. I'll go this way and build a house, said pig number one. I'll go that way and build a house, said pig number two. And I'll stay right here and build my house, said pig number three. So each little pig went his own way. The first little pig built the house of straw. One, two, three, snip, snack. His house was done. It was not a very good house. It was not a very strong house. But who, but who cares, said the first little pig. I don't want to work all day. I want to dance and, and play. He did. But someone was watching from the hill someone who likes to eat little pigs the second little pig built his house of sticks <laughs> one two three zip zap his house was done it was not a very good house or very strong but who cares said the little pig i don't want to work all day i want to sing and play this is what he did but someone was watching from the hill someone who likes to eat little pigs the three little the third little pig built his house of bricks. Now this little pig worked hard. He made a floor of wood. He made a door. He built his house brick by brick and he made a chimney on the roof. When it was done, it was a good house and a strong house. Now I have time to rest and play said the third little pig and so he did anyway but someone was watching here from the hill someone who likes to eat little pigs next day someone came down the hill the big bad wolf he went to the house of straw he banged on the door little pig little pig let me come in he called the first little pig looked out the window he saw the big bad wolf. No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I won't let you in, said the little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. He huffed and he puffed and he blew that house of straw right down. You little pig. The little pig got out just in time. He ran to his brother's house. Of sticks, help, help, he cried. The big bad wolf is coming. The second little pig quickly let him in and locked the door. Now the big bad wolf put on a sheep's skin. 
he went to the house of sticks. He banged on the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, he said in a, in a sweet voice. Who are you? asked the second little pig. I am a sheep, said the wolf sweetly. The two little pigs looked out of the window. Looked out the window. They could see the wolf's eyes under the sheep's skin. So the second little pig said, No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I won't let you in. <clears throat> then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. He huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he blew that house of sticks right down. The two little pigs got out just in time. They ran to their brother's house of bricks. Help, help, the big bad wolf is coming. The third little pig he quickly let them in and locked the door. The wolf came, he began to bang on the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. The wolf called, no, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I won't let you in, said the third little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. The two little pigs were afraid. But the third little pig said, Don't be afraid, the wolf can't blow this house. This is, this is a very strong house, he say he to the wolf. Go ahead, blow, blow your head off. We're not afraid of a big bad wolf. So he, so the wolf began. He huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed then and he puffed and he huffed, puff, huff, huff, puff, puff, huff, puff, puff. His face got red, his ears got blue, his eyes began to water, but still he could not blow down that house of bricks. Now the wolf was mad. He had to get those pigs. I know what I'll do, he said. I'll go up the side of the house, brick by brick, and I'll slide down, and I'll slide down through the chimney. The three little pigs heard him on the roof. He's on the roof, said pig number one. He'll come down the chimney, said pig number two. Pig number three said, Quick, get a pot of hot water. They got a pot of hot water. It was very hot. They put it under the chimney. The wolf came down the chimney. Plop! He fell right into the pot of hot water. Help! Help! cried the wolf. I am in hot water. He jumped up. He ran out of the house. He ran and ran and did not stop until he got to his house and he never came down the hill again. The wolf still lives in his house at the top of the hill alone. He still, he is still big, but he isn't so bad. He never eats little pigs anymore. Now the three little pigs live together in the house of bricks. They play and sing and are merry all day long. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf, the big bad wolf. Who's the brain of and that's the end thanks for watching this video please leave a like subscribe and and please leave a like and subscribe and thanks for watching this video goodbye